Okay, so in this next video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a concertina book. So all a concertina book is just like a normal sketchbook like this one, but all the pages are connected together. So you're creating almost like one long sketchbook together. So if I show you from this angle, you can see that all these pages are connected together and then they've got these two end pages at the end. And I'm going to show you how you could make this using materials that you've probably got around the home and you could use from your house. This sketchbook here I made a few years ago and it's been bound with book binding material and I'm going to show you today how you could do it using material from around the house. So some of the equipment that you need to create your concertina sketchbook. For the hardback section, this section here, because we want it to be quite stable, so this section is quite a stiff hard section. There's different things that you could use. So for example, if you've got an old um, kind of notepad lined paper, the back of the notepad have these kind of hard boards on them. So if you've got an old one that you could use, these are really good because we can cut this up and this can form that hard back base. Alternatively, if you haven't got one of them, serial boxes work just as well. Okay, they're not as thick as the cardboard on the back of your sketchbooks or your um, lined paper, but they can work just as well using that hardback there. I'm sure lots of you haven't got book binding material at home, so I'm going to show you how you could cover your book so it doesn't just have the grey or the serial box as the outer cover. So there's different ways that you could do this. You could just use newspaper and you could collage together and create a newspaper background. Also, lots of you might have bits of tissue paper lying around the house. So, for example, if you get presents and things, sometimes they're often wrapped in tissue paper. So this is something that you could use um, collage together to create your sketchbook to make it a little bit more exciting looking. With regards to the paper on the inside of the sketchbook, okay, so we need to connect all the pieces together, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we need a long piece of paper. So if you've got, for example, old sketchbooks or different things like that, so I've got quite an old sketchbook here and it's only got a few pages left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these pages out and I'm going to use these to create my concertina book. When you're choosing your materials for your sketchbook, it's really important to try and find paper that's a little bit thick. So sketchbook paper is brilliant, okay, so you could take a few pages out if you've got an old sketchbook. Or having a look for different things. So you might want to combine different pieces together. So if you've got maybe envelopes and things that maybe are a little bit stiffer paper, you could try and use those. It's all about creating a sketchbook that you're going to be able to use and that's going to produce the best outcome for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to create the concertina sketchbook with all the different pages in and have a think about what materials you might be able to use and you might be able to find around your house and then we can um, have a look at your results at the end.